you often get stuck on what you think would be an easy Sudoku? You have a hard time deciding where to look next in a puzzle? I will share with you two proven scanning hacks that I have seen championship Sudoku players use repeatedly to solve Sudokus like this in two to three minutes. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Let's look at the ones first. You got this one and this one in columns eight and seven, and you have a one cut across here. The only place for a one in block six is right there. And then if you look at the twos, you have a two here in row two and in row one, and then you have a two here in column four. Where can the two go in block two? Right there, that's right. Greetings, friend. Helping you solve round four, puzzle two, for the Sudoku Grand Prix, rated 438 easy. That means it just needs naked hidden singles if you look in the right places. I will reveal two scanning hacks to you used by Sudoku champions to include why this cell is so important for you to solve. Hey, let's look at the threes now. We can do a lot of solving with the threes. If these two threes in rows one and three and this three, where can a three go in block one? Right there. And then if you just follow it down with these two threes and this three, solve for three in block seven. And with these two threes and this three, three in block eight. With these two threes and this three, you can see we can solve for a three here in block six. And now you have one, two, three, four threes all looking in block five. So we know we can solve with certainty this cell for a three. Whenever you have four of a candidate looking into a house, you can solve for certainty because you only have one remaining cell where that candidate can go. Let's look at the fours now. We're in block five. You want to stick here and we're going to get up to my first hack for you. See these two fours and this four. We can solve for four in block five. Now I want to turn your attention to the green cell. The key here, the first hack, is to know when to switch to naked singles. So we looked around and the reason why you might want to look at this cell is you'll notice there's several different types of digits looking at it. You have three givens in the block plus this fourth, two different ones in this row, and some two other different ones in the column. And so what can this cell be? Can't be a one, can't be a two, can't be a three, can't be a five, a six, a seven, an eight, or a nine. So now that we put a three right here, this cell can only be a four. This is the first naked single we solved in the puzzle. What was the first naked single you solved in this puzzle? Please, please, please drop and share that in the comments with the other viewers and tell me how you did. I need you to help me grow the best Sudoku community on YouTube. So I love to hear from you and I appreciate it so much. I will respond to every comment. Okay, you have these two fours now. What does it give us, right? We did that naked single. We can go right back to hidden singles because it yields so much. Because the four has to be here in block nine. And with these two fours and this four, we're just going to go around and solve for a four in block three here. And then with these two fours and this four, we can solve for a four in block four. And now those two fours and this four we solve for a four in block one. So by seeing that naked single, you're able to solve all of those. So that's that first really good hack, knowing when to switch over the naked singles to continue your solving. Okay, let's look at the fives. What can we do with these fives? Well, you have these two fives and this five. Only place for a five and block five is right there. And then with this five, you can solve for a five in block one and then with these two fives and these two fives we solve for a five in block four and can we finish off the fives we sure can because you have two fives here with the five in column eight so we can solve for a five up in block three and the only remaining five is right there in block nine and now i want to switch again to those naked singles you look here in column three why I do the switch and why you should do the switch is when you have two to three candidates remaining in a house. In this case, the column's got three candidates remaining. Well, you notice there's no one amongst the three, but you've got a one right here. So the one can't be in those spots. This has to be a one. 
And what's remaining is a six and a seven in the column. I'm just gonna highlight that. Now I'll give you a bonus tip. You know, I'm highlighting this so you can see that you have two camps remaining, a six and a seven. They can't be anywhere else in the column and or else in this block. But my tip for you is you wanna minimize your marking. If you could just use your working memory and remember that this is a six and seven and you don't have to make the mark, you will not have to do any erasing later. Another tip that the championship Sudoku people use is they, they'll put a six, seven right here in the margin. And so when you figure out what, which one the six is or the seven, you can just write over it and you don't have to do any erasing. But that's a pretty neat tip. I started to use that in my own pencil and paper solving. But this is key for us, right? Because we put that one there, we got the six, seven right here. We can do a little bit more solving now. Let's look at the twos. You got these twos here. One place for a two and block eight's right there. And then this two and this two, we can solve for a two and block four. And with these twos, can we solve for two here in block six? And the answer is yes. The reason is this two comes right here. We know a two's got to be one of those spots. And so with that two and these twos, the only place left for a two now in block six is right here. The other way to look at it, you could go a two can't be here because of this two. Can't be here because of that two. And it couldn't be there because of that too. Either way, you will see that this cell has to be a two. And now I want to show you the amount of pressure we're getting here in block one. What we have right here is three empty cells forms a naked triple, right? It fills up block one. We're looking for a one, seven, nine. But since it's also restricted in the column, this is a locked triple. So a one, seven, nine now cannot be anywhere else along column one outside the block. So these digits can't be a one, seven, or nine. And with this six, seven, puts even more pressure right here on these, this cell. So now it can't be a one or nine, can't be a six or a seven, can't be a three, four, or five, can't be a two. What could it be? And so you look, it gotta be an eight or a nine. Well, since the nine is one of these spots, the nine's got to go right here, and then this cell's got to be an eight. And so I want to kind of show you that. I'd have to make the mark, but I use that lock triple along with the nice naked pair to make that solve. And I'll remove those. I, I think you can remember this is going to be a six or a seven, and that's going to be a one, seven, or a nine. Now with this eight, we can solve for an eight right here. We need a six or a two to finish block seven. There goes the six. And there goes the two. And with these twos, we can solve for a two here. And then what you may notice is that you have a nine and a seven right here across row nine. So they can't be in these two cells. A nine and seven has to be in one of these two cells. Well, I also have a seven right there. The seven goes there, the nine goes there, and we can finish row eight with this eight. And now it's time for that second hack I'm going to give you. And I'll call this sweeping the blocks. All right. You know, we want to figure out what goes here in block eight. And I'll highlight that. We know it's going to be a one or an eight. We can't figure out exactly what it is just yet. But if we can solve this block, then we can start working our way through this puzzle and finishing block by block. The technique, the scanning technique is called clumping. But the sweeping the floor is the idea of working block to block as you're doing the clumping and solving within those blocks. So what do we have? We have the greatest restrictions in column five that feeds into here. We're looking for a one, eight, or a nine. So using my neat naked triple trick, we can solve all three of those cells. We need a one eight or a nine. I got an eight and a nine right there. And I have a nine repeat right here. We can solve all three. Because we know this cell has to be the one. The nine can only go up there. And then this is going to be the eight, which means we can solve this cell for a one. Okay, so we just sweeped out block eight and now what we want to do is kind of go up here to block five and notice hey i got seven digits here I need a six or a seven well i got my seven right there so that's got to be your six and that's got to be your seven but now we put the six here you can hopefully see easily we have a one two three four five and six all we need is a seven eight nine and so we can knock this out with another neat naked triple trick in this case the nine sees these two cells and then the seven receives one of those as well. So we can solve all three. We know that it has to be the eight. 
the only place the nine goes right there and this is going to be the seven so we just blocked out and swept block six let's sweep block nine now because we just need a six or a nine i just put the nine there but here's a nine and here's a six and so the idea we're just looking right here and pulling in candidates once you swept that block you can move right on and so go up here you might see well maybe we can't finish block three there's four missing cells however start with the greatest restriction we come up column nine and there's only one digit remaining column nine it's got to be a seven all right that makes our job easier and so now we just need a six eight nine because i can see one two three four five seven pretty easily well the nine's right here and then they also looks uh, in this cell we know we can solve all three because that's got to be your six the only place the nine goes right there and then that's going to be the eight we just swept out block three can we do it in block two and yes we can you have these two ones and this one the greatest restriction is that easy hidden single one and now we see these two eights we can solve for an eight right there and so it's a lot easier now just to look for a six or a seven well i got the seven there so here's your seven and here's your six and you remember we have a naked triple over here right a one seven nine so we can use the neat naked triple trick see if you can, how quickly you can solve this the cheat here is when you have three full houses like we do is you know you can just scan in the first two for two to three candidates and you'll be all done so i got a one and nine right there i see the one repeated that's all i need to see to know i can solve and you can solve all three of these cells this has to be the seven the only place the one goes right there and that's going to be your nine so we just swept out block one all right your choice on whether we do block four or block five for me since i remember this is a six or a seven i'm going to pull that seven out from block six and go that's got to be my seven that's got to be my six we just need a six eight here to finish up the puzzle so i'm going to look up and find the first digit i need so that's the eight i'm going to pull it down from block two that's got to be the eight and the last digit is a six Use the scaling hacks to see how quickly you can solve this next puzzle. Thank you so much for watching.